I've personally prepared for you a certain type of entree that is now finding its way onto more and more five-star menus. It's an American dish. It's sophisticated, inspirational, and something that everyone can identify. Cindy, what's under there? Ah, uh, chef. I go to a five-star restaurant, uh, never. You know, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I got no idea what he's holding underneath there, but he's a total snob. It's probably something ridiculous. John. Maybe pork shank, chef? Pork shank. I know that's, that's coming up as a big thing. Interesting. Janelle. I would have to go with maybe sweetbreads, kidneys, liver of some sort. Interesting again. May I present to you the hamburger. Burger. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> this is a delicious gourmet burger, one that I serve at one of my latest restaurants, Bread Street Kitchen in London, and it can go for as much as $100. Wow. Wow. That's ridiculous. Who pays $100 for a burger? No wonder you're rich, Chef Ramsay. You're selling burgers for $100 a pop? Why didn't I think of that? For your next challenge, each of you are going to create your own gourmet burger. Dude, this is a very, very big deal. If you don't know how to make a great burger, what the fuck are you trying to run a pub for Chef Ramsay for? I have one of the finest maitres anywhere in the world to help me judge. A man who started working in restaurants from seven years of age. He's worked with me as a maitre d' for the last 14 years. Chef Ramsay's talking about the finest maitre d' in the world. It's got to be Jean-Philippe, old slick back. Morning, everybody. Good morning. morning. Nice to see you. You good? Yeah, good. Are you ready to taste some delicious burgers? Lovely. JP is definitely a diva, so we're going to have to create a diva burger for him. I still can't believe we weren't together for 14 years. Quite it feels like 14 minutes underwater. I <laughs> <I'm> got oxygen. <laughs> right. John Philippe will not be judging this alone. He brought in some of his culinary friends, maitre d's, general managers, and sommeliers of some of the finest restaurants in the country. And here they are. Wow. Wow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Holy shit, man, what's going on? That is a lot of people. This has definitely got to be the most intense panel of judges yet. Good morning. Good to see you. Are we going to feed all these people? Yes. Welcome. It's so nice to see you. I'm uh, slightly worried about all the diners uh, eating out in Los Angeles today, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> right, chefs, for your challenge, you will prepare, each of you, 10 burgers. Every judge here today will receive a tasting sample of your delicious gourmet burger. Once you've finished cooking your last burger, I'd like you to circulate the dining room and give them a little insight to how you arrived at that stunning burger. You've all got 30 minutes to create something stunning. Yes, chef. Yes. Your time starts now. Off you go. For today's challenge, the chefs will have just 30 minutes to start sending gourmet burgers out to a dining room filled with culinary professionals. Sharp right behind. Mary, describe your burger. It's a short rib burger chef with a pancetta, roquefort relish, and a panini bun. Nice. I chose the short rib burger because short ribs are so succulent and amazing. I love burgers, man, but I've got to make something five star here. So what are you going to do? American Wagyu with uh, bourbon glaze, cipollini onions. I want a fucking fat burger, juicy, grease running down. Janelle and Susan, I mean, these ladies are way too dainty. They probably do turkey burgers with avocado, all that fresh, healthy stuff. 